Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Facebook Friday. I jumped on a little bit early as usual just to give us a chance to connect and have some people find the live video. So hold tight. We will start momentarily. Okay, looks like we are connected. Perfect. I'm going to share this over to my group real fast and I'm going to get started. It's thundering outside, so I hope, I hope <laughs> we don't have a storm. It looks like it's going to go mostly around us. So, <laughs> hey, Linda, no, no helpers. Um, Dakota is the only one in here with me today. Um, your little peanut is in timeout right now. <laughs> She is a little boisterous, so she's in timeout, so she doesn't overtake the um, Facebook Live today. So, um, yeah, <laughs> she's she's having a little nappy. So, but it's good because she she played hard today. So she's she she went into her kennel willingly. <laughs> okay, I am going to share this over to my group real fast. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. Okay, let me blow this up in my laptop so I can read your comments and hi Shirley and Lori hi Carol Peggy Opal hello Sonia K if I forgot anybody I'm sorry <laughs> I'll go back after the video and catch up um I am so glad to be here with y'all today um we're gonna do some Halloween today I have a cute little Halloween card I posted over on my Instagram stories last night and I got so many people that were like oh my gosh that's so cute how did you make that so I thought I would do it for Facebook live today oh and Dakota just started to cry she's crying at the door now fun it's still it's it's like I turn the camera on and chaos ensues, <laughs> but it's okay. She'll simmer down eventually. Um, she will be fine. Hello, hello, everyone. Okay, I've got lots to catch up on because I haven't been live in a couple weeks. So um, let me get caught up. We're going to do a little bit of housekeeping to get started, and then we'll get into our, our card for today. Okay, so I'm going to be using today the cutest Halloween and frightfully cute bundles so um it's a really fun little card I think you guys are gonna like it and so we are gonna because Halloween's almost upon us you guys we're running out of time so hello oh Nora's at work okay we won't tell anyone Nora <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get a couple quick things started. Let me introduce myself. My name is Anne Marie Heil. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. You can find me over on my blog at stampinann.com. Um, I do. If you're having problems with the sound, Peggy, what I would suggest is backing out of the video and then coming back in. Sometimes that will fix it. If not, it will correct itself on the replay, usually 90% of the time. Okay? Okay. So, um, you can find me on my blog at stampinann.com and let's see what else do I have to tell you today so I have a couple things to go over with you today um we shall let me turn on my iPad because I have to show you something so my card today that I'm sharing with you is actually from my um a monthly tutorial that I do called the Simply Sweet Stampers Tutorial Bundle. Now, this, I'm gonna show you right here. Hopefully, well, you're gonna get, let me turn this off. You won't get the feedback from that. Um, I'll turn it back on in a minute. So this is my Simply Sweet Stampers Tutorial Bundle. Now, I partner, um, there are 12 of us in this tutorial bundle, and we put this together every month. Um, it is a 12 project tutorial that I offer to my customers with a, it's free with a $35 purchase, um, as long as you use that host code that I shared and I have all that listed up above. Um, and you can get some great Halloween inspiration. It is a really fun tutorial. We have, um, here's all of us, here's our team. There's me right there. And, <laughs> but there's lots of fun ideas. So I wanted to share this with you um, in case you wanted to pick up this tutorial. So there are a couple ways to get it. Um, like I said, with a $35 order, um, I will send this to you for free with a $50 order. I'll send you a second tutorial. I'm actually doing that this weekend. I'm catching up on all my tutorials. And um, 
If you're on my team, you get my tutorials for free. That is one way to get them at a great price, which is free. And I also will have this available for purchase if you just wanted to purchase the PDF as well. So stay tuned on my blog for that. Or um, you can always send me an email or a message here on Facebook if you'd like it. And I can I send you the information. I just don't have it uploaded yet. Um, I also wanted to share one other thing with you guys. So on the earlier, the first weekend of this month on World Card Making Day, I did the Maker's Mojo Creative Escape. And this was so much fun, guys. It was an all-day event. We had 10 presentations, amazing creative presentations. And it was so much, so much creative. And like, I just had a blast. Um, it was a long day, but lots of fun. I am going to let you guys know, if you missed that event, I am offering the opportunity to purchase the Maker's Mojo after the live, where you can purchase the tutorials. And that also has YouTube videos for all of the tutorials as well. And there are lots of great techniques, lots of great creative ideas. If you missed out on this event and couldn't make it, you can purchase the after the live event. And I'll be posting that here in my on my page um, later tonight. So keep an eye on that for the link if you'd like to take advantage of that. But it is a lot of content. And it was it was so much fun. So um, if you guys are interested, I will put that up later and you can purchase the after the live event or after the live PDF and links to the videos. With that being said, I also want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is finally up and running. The link is in the description of this video. I believe this will probably be my first video that will be posted over there. <laughs> so um, after my Facebook lives are over, I'm going to put them on YouTube and I'm also going to try to do shorter videos a little more frequently over there. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Okay. I think I got everything out of the way. I wanted to tell you guys a bunch of stuff. So a couple weeks ago, um, on Facebook Live, I made this fun card. Well, actually, we made this card on Facebook Live. It was modeled after my original card in the pink color palette. We did one in purple, and then I went ahead and did one in Coastal Cabana. And is that, yeah, okay. <laughs> I called it the wrong name on that live, and I wanted to make sure I got it right. Um, so good morning, Megan and Debbie. Nice to see y'all there. Okay, so what I did is every week, if you take the time to share this video so we can get some more folks watching, I put everybody who's share, who has shared into a hat, and I'll draw a name to make to send them the card that I make on the video. So I made this card on our video two weeks ago, and two weeks ago, something like that. <laughs> and anyway, I put all of our sharers into a hat and the winner is Sue Thomas. So Sue, congratulations, you won the Highland Heather card. And then I went ahead and I made this in Coastal Cabana because that, that was our vote. We were voting between the two. And so I just went ahead and made it because I really wanted to see what it looked like and I love how it came out. So this card, I put everybody who commented on that video, I put your name into a drawing as well. And the winner for that card is Mary Ellen Ryan. So congratulations, ladies. Um, here's what I need you to do to claim your card, okay? So I realize sometimes that I'm not as descriptive as I should be on this. So let me just tell you how, to, how it works. So if you want me to mail your card to you, you have to mail me or mail me, email me your mailing address to this email right here. It's my full name, Anne Marie Heil at gmail.com. Anne has an E at the end of it. So email me your mailing address. I will pop these cuties in the mail to you. And when you win a prize on my channel or on my, on my videos, if you don't claim it by the next time I go live, then you forfeit the prize. Okay. So, um, it's just because I don't want to keep them hanging around forever. And I realize some people just may not want the card and that's totally fine. So that's kind of my rule for prizes. If they're not claimed by the next video, then they just go back into the hat, but <laughs> they're fun cards guys. So, why wouldn't you want to win this cute little prize? I love happy mail. I hope you do too. So Sue and Mary Ellen, I would love to pop those in the mail to you. Email me your address. Mary Ellen, hi, you're here. Yay. Perfect. Well, I will pop this little guy in an envelope. We'll get that taken care of. Congratulations. I'm excited you're watching today. Um, okay. Bum, bum, bum. We're ready to roll. So we're going to make a cute little card 
for Halloween today. So I mentioned that this is with my Simply Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle. Let me tell you how it works. So what we do every month is we pick a suite in the catalog to work within. So what this is, we're, we did Cute Halloween for this month. And what that entails is not just this particular grouping of product, but also the other products that kind of fall into the Halloween suite. So you'll see projects in that tutorial from Frightfully Cute and Clever Cats and that's it in that bundle. There's only three things in the Halloween bundle. I wish there were so much more. Hello, Nancy. Um, so, so the tutorial is going to feature projects featuring these three sets. And what I did for my project, I'm going to share with you mine today. Um, and I used kind of a blend from Frightfully Cute, and I used some pieces from the Cute Halloween. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how that worked. Um, so you knew a little more about the tutorial. My paper's all wrinkled here. <laughs> so here we go. We got all this stuff for our card here. And we'll get started. Okay, so we are going to, I have a lot of the pieces cut, but we are going to die cut some of the smaller things because I want to show you the dies today. Um, okay, let me get my bearings. Shirley says, who would not want one of your cards? We would all love getting one. That makes me feel really happy and I love sending them. So I'm glad, I hope, I hope you guys enjoy them. I love sending them. All right, we're gonna start with a Highland Heather card base. Um, if you have visited me before, I know I probably sound like a broken record, but I do know there are new people watching, so they may not know this. I like my cards to open top to bottom, so my measurements usually fall for that. If you want your card to open like a book, you just have to adjust it a little bit. So this is a standard card base, which is four and a quarter inches by 11. I'm going to have two layers. It's pretty easy because it's going to showcase this cute Halloween, yes, cute Halloween designer series paper. So... This paper in this collection is so cute, you guys. It has fun patterns on one side and then black and white on the other. Hey, Donna, happy Friday. Um, and some of the papers work with the coordinating punches so that it saves you a lot of time putting your cards together. Okay, so we've got basic black four by five and a quarter and then a piece of the designer series paper three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Okay, easy peasy. I'm just gonna stick them together. I love that little candy pattern. <laughs> it's cute. And you could even color these candies with Stampin' Blends, too, if you wanted to give it some color. And I like to use liquid glue when I'm working with 1 8 inch layers because it gives you some wiggle room. I love this little card. I think it's so cute. Okay. So we're good there, and then I'm just gonna adhere this to the front of the card. Let the designer series paper do some of the heavy lifting for us here. <laughs> Our papers are so pretty. I always, I'm always real stingy with my designer series papers, and now I, I'm trying to use them more because I'm like, oh, they're so pretty. You have to share them. Okay, so cute polka dots. I think the stripe pattern could look cute too, but there's something about the polka dots on this. Okay. So next up, now I also cut for the inside of our card, I cut a piece of basic white that is four by five and a quarter and then just an extra little scrappy strip of this um, polka dot pattern because I want to keep the party going to the inside of the card. We're going to do the inside of the card last, um, but I did pre-cut that. So next up we're going to need, let me show you the dies and how cute they are. So the Frightfully Cute dies are really fun because not only do they coordinate with the stamp set, hey Terry, but there are some really cute standalone shapes and labels in here too, which I think are super functional. So we are going to need a tree, the fence, and it's a circle, but we're going to call it the moon. <laughs> and that's it. There's also a spider web, the owl, the little witch hat, three little labels for sentiments and some little stars. It's a cute little set. I haven't even put it on my magnetic sheet yet. <laughs> so, and then the other thing we're going to use is I am going to use the scalloped rectangle from the these aren't even on. I'm so lazy, you guys. I haven't even put any of these on magnetic um, sheets yet. I have a couple of them, but not all of them. This is the scalloped contours dies. 
This has quickly become one of my favorite die sets. I use these scalloped um, rectangles a ton. And also this cute little scalloped edge border is so cute. So this goes with the color and contour stamp set in the annual Stampin' Up! catalog. But I'll tell you, I reach for these frequently. So I personally think it's a must have if you, if you haven't invested in them yet. Debbie says she bought the dies only for the tree and the spider web. You know, um, <laughs> I love the fence. The fence and the spider web were what I was really excited about with the dies. <laughs> and I actually have some cards to show you at the end with some, some additional Halloween cards for inspiration to show you. And one uses the spider web. Um, Okay, so first of all, we're going to take a scrap of Hello Jewel um, Basic Black and we're gonna cut a frame. And I'm gonna get all my prep work done here so we can kind of do all the die cutting at once. So we're gonna need two fences. Now, I have talked about this um, adhesive sheet before and I realized that I don't demonstrate it very often on Facebook Live, so I thought I would do that today. So um, in our annual catalog, we have adhesive sheets and what that basically does, it'll turn any die cut into a sticker. Um, and they're super easy to use. If you've never used them before, I wanna show you how to do it. Okay, so now the one in the catalog does not have the Sizzix name on it. I'm just using up what I have. So, <laughs> so shh, pretend it doesn't say Sizzix. It's, it, it's all the same. It still works. Okay, so what we're first gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of cut a piece of this sticker paper paper to kind of fit my cardstock. And I just kind of pre-measured these scraps ahead of time. So, and I'm going to put adhesive on the fence and on the tree. We'll just do it this way. I think this will work. Okay, throw that off to the side. I was so prepared today. I was like, oh, I'm going to get all this stuff cut ahead of time. Okay. And save these little pieces, just throw them back inside the um, packaging they come in. Sometimes they'll come in handy, trust me. Um, I might be using a little more than I need for this, but for the purpose of Facebook Live, <laughs> I'm using more, not, not less. Um, so what you do is you peel the top sheet off. Make it a little adhesive on your hands and that's okay. And stick it to the back of your cardstock. And if you have any overhang, cut it off because that part's sticky. So you don't want to gunk up your plates. So we'll cut that off. And then same thing here. Oop, top layer, top layer. Ooh, my AC just turned on. The thundering has stopped. So I think the rain has gone around us which is good. <laughs> I was worried. I'm like, oh no, the power is going to go out on Facebook Live. That'll be so fun. Um, okay, so we're going to do our fences on black, the tree on purple. And we just have, this is a very minimal stamping card too, you guys. We're going to do which way to the candy. Hi, Denise. How are you today? So we're going to ink that up in memento ink. Boom which way to the candy and we're going to cut this circle the circle rather is going to cut um out the sentiment okay let me get the little baby boss here and we'll try and get as much die cutting in one pass as we can okay we should be able to get this done in like three passes i see Lori said i hate gunky plates well look at these these are beautiful <laughs> They're just well loved. I <laughs> they're not gunky, they're just well loved. All right, we're gonna cut a fence and a tree. Shirley, AC. Yeah, Shirley, it's crazy. Um, I heard it was snowing in Utah, and um we are like it's 90 degrees. We're supposed to get like a cold front tonight, though. And I think it's when I say cold front, it's gonna be in the 50s, which we are what's all over my machine. We're very excited about that because we need to cool off a little bit. Although it's going to be 81 again next Saturday. So I think it's going to be short lived. <laughs> all right. So we've got a tree and one fence. Oops. We'll get all those bits out in a minute. Get all this off the desk. You know, we just throw stuff on the floor around here. That's how we operate. And then I look over and one of my <laughs> one of my dogs is usually eating scraps. So <laughs> oh 
you know what, let's cut out this too. I'm gonna kind of center that in the circle. Um, Lori says, my plates look the same, but man, I love my new clean plates. You know, I just put new clean plates on my big stamp and cut and emboss, you guys. <laughs> I, it's like a whole new, I'm like, oh, I feel so fancy. They're so beautiful. I didn't want to cut into them. But um, I'm going to put a little washi tape just to kind of keep that centered for me so it doesn't move. But yeah, it's time to change these. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> I know the sounds. Hi, May. She says, we haven't used AC in weeks. The mountains already have a dusting of snow, but it's 70s for the weekend. I think 70s is perfect weather. That is my favorite. Uh-oh. I dropped my die cut. I don't want to lose my dies, you guys. I do that all the time. So two fences. Whoops. And we just need, will this fit in here? I didn't even check. It should. Rawr. Okay. Probably better to run this through the big machine, but it's the last thing we have to cut, so. All right, cut it through. I'm going slow because I don't want to jiggle the desk. <laughs> All right, let me get this off the camera. Okay, we have all of our die cutting done. Let me... I'm going to toss my dies all over to one spot because if you have visited me before, you know I'm notorious for losing them. And I really don't want to do that today. <laughs> okay. So this is the second largest scalloped rectangle in the scallop contours dies. And I just went ahead and I cut a piece of smoky slate that will fit inside. Um, it is, I believe, like two and five eighths by like just a little less than four inches. Um, and it fits inside and it just kind of frames it a little bit. Now I've already gone through, and if this is not your first time if it, visiting me, you've heard this before. Um, Lucille says she loves these dies. I agree, I, I cannot stop using those dies. They're like my new favorite. Um, but if you have visited me before, you've heard me talk about tasteful textile embossing folder, the, the tasteful textile embossing folder. I love this because it just gives a little bit of texture, um, just kind of roughs it up a little bit. Um, it's one of my go-tos. Now, since this is a Halloween card, and I know some people don't love Halloween. Some people do, some people don't, I do. Um, and I, I just wanna make it a little spooky because it's a cute card, but I wanna add some spooky element to it. I don't like like really scary Halloween, but I do like a little bit of, ooh, kind of, you know, you have to have a little spooky in your Halloween. So I'm gonna use my sponge dauber and I am just gonna go kind of around the edges and just kind of give us a little bit of shading for a little spooky night sky. Again, not a ton. And I'm just, I'm even gonna go over the top just a little bit here and there. It just, it's a little something. Oh, Lori says about the magnetic parts pan from Harbor Freight, it works great. Yes, I think we talked about this like a long time ago, and I actually have a magnetic pan <laughs> or a magnetic, that magnetic bowl. Do you think I know where it is right now? No, I don't. It's buried in the bowels of my craft room somewhere. I probably need to find that and use that more. Okay, so we just kind of roughed it up a little bit. And now what I did is I took another piece of the designer series paper. This has black and white polka dots on one side. Oh, Dakota. She just came barreling through and she moved the camera. Um, and I used just a little piece of the striped, the black and white striped paper here to kind of create a road. Um, I think it's kind of cute. Dakota, please stop. I'm not in the mood today. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Every time I get on this Facebook Live, she, she acts up. So we took Dakota to the vet for the first time, her, well, her first official vet visit since we've had her. Um, and the vet 
concurred that she is younger than what the rescue had her marked at. Um, so the rescue had her at about almost two years and she is actually closer to a year old and it makes a lot of sense because she still does have a lot of like baby qualities about her i over i cut this a little too short so i'm just going to take a sliver of this off on the side um so now it's funny now that we know that she's just about a year old i'm like huh that, a lot of that behavior makes a lot more sense <laughs> so and Pepper need to get together. Oh yeah, oh Pepper, Erica's Pepper. We have Pepper the foster dog here, but I met, well not met, I've, I'd already met her, but I visited with Erica Serwin's Pepper, the schnauzer the other day. She's a feisty little one, um, <laughs> but I love her. I love the schnauzers. Okay, so this is going to go inside the little frame here, and this just, I think it's kind of cute. I think it looks like a street almost. You're going to see why in a minute, okay? So we're going to stick this on. And like I said, just that little pop of um, texture and then that shading, it just kind of, I don't know, you could just use a plain piece of cardstock. That would work fine too, but I just like that this, Oh, guys, did I not cut this long enough? Hold on. Okay, I'm still just a smidge shy on one side, but I just sponged some ink there. So that's kind of how I fixed it. And I think it works. It's fine. The card's going to be so cute. No one's going to look at that detail anyway. So, so ta-da. Because what I'm going to do, and you're going to kind of see as this card comes together, is I need something to kind of ground my image. And so I thought the road kind of came out cute on this. Okay, so next up, we have our little sticky sheet on the back of these, and I'm gonna peel that off. Sorry, I don't want you to have to look at my hands while I do this. Now see all those little bits and pieces? When you pull off the sticker sheet, they come off with it. So yay for that, am I right? Um, <laughs> so much better than having all those little pieces falling all over the place. Oh, we've got a couple, a couple that are hanging in there but it's not, not as bad as it usually is. Oh, here's one more, but that's not bad. I'll take three over all those little bits any day. Okay, and then our tree, and then we're gonna start building our little scene here. Put all this, let's just throw all that on the ground. Okay. Okay. So then you just peel the back off and then what's cool is this is just like a sticker and it we don't have to mess with glue or anything like that so if you're somebody who has a hard time using liquid glue that adhesive paper is perfect i highly recommend investing in it because it works well okay so now we're going to build start making our little scene okay so i'm going to pop in a spooky tree I know trees aren't, per oh look, it's sticking to my hand. I know trees aren't purple in real life, but it's Halloween, so they can be whatever color we want them to be this time of the year. And then I'm going to put two little fences. Put one here and one here. They're gonna overlap a little in the middle, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna cover that up. Okay, isn't it cute how it's coming together? It's so fun. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect in the middle, but because we're going to cover that up anyway. Okay, so we got that. Now, this is where it gets really fun. Um, this designer series paper, this little ghosty with his cute little trick or treat bag, you can use the cute Halloween, or the, I think it's just the Halloween punch, is what that's called. It will punch out the ghost in the paper. It won't punch out all of the little ghosts, um, but it does punch out this little guy here and also there's a pattern in here that you can punch out the pumpkin and the cat too there's also and I really wanted to use him on this card but he's got some pink in there and it didn't really fit with my aesthetic well, I guess I could have made it work because there's pink in the polka dots but this little bat here with the treat the Halloween bag he would be kind of cute too you could just fussy cut him out but he would be cute on this little scene too but I'm going to use the ghost because I love the ghost this little fat ghost cracks me up okay so we're going to cut a little ghosty out and I 
I'm saving those haunted houses and all the other little ghost images because you can either fussy cut them or do something else with them. Thank you, Dakota. She's used, she's squeaking her toy to let you know she's here. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to put this on a post-it note because I cut it really small and I realized that after I cut it. So I'm just going to stick it to a post-it note here to kind of help me guide it through the punch. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Always fun times when it doesn't work the way I want it to. So look at that. It fits perfectly. And I love this little ghost because he has cute little rosy cheeks and he's got that cute little Halloween bag like he's trick-or-treating, which I think is darling. And you saw our sentiment says, which way to the candy? Well, we can't have this little ghost without a little witch hat. So I am actually going to steal the witch hat from this little ghost here. And we're going to make this little ghost. This ghost is going as a witch for Halloween, which is cute, right? So we're going to cut this out. If you're not a fussy cutter, you should be. You should be for this cute little witch hat alone. And I'm sorry, I really don't want to put my hands super close to the camera. So my hands are going so dry, you guys. Now I wash my hands so frequently, especially with all of these pets I have. <laughs> and unfortunately, my hands have been drying out quite a bit. So we're going to cut that little, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. See, it just like took a second. You don't have to be a perfect fussy cutter. Just get it, get it kind of close. Hi, Donna. Oh, I'm so happy you enjoyed them, Donna. Donna attended the Maker's Mojo event on World Card Making Day. I'm so happy you loved it. I loved my projects. I did um, a project with stencils um, or the decorative masks as they're called. And then I did a fun um, tag and gift card holder bundle. But that's all I can tell you. If you want to see more, you'll have to buy the buy the after the live. <laughs> um, but there were so many fun ideas. Okay, I... Okay, I'm going to put just a little glue dot on the back of this ghost on his head. And then I'm going to put her little, his little hat on him here. But isn't that the cutest, you guys? Like, just putting that little hat on him, I think, makes all the difference. It gives him even more personality. Okay, hat, I just need you to stay on there till I can put some Stampin' Dimensionals on. <laughs> and you can do whatever you want. Okay, so now we're going to... Pop on our little ghost. I'm gonna put one mini Stampin' Dimensional behind his hat there just cause it's kind of wily. I wanna make sure it sticks down. Okay. And we're gonna pop the ghost right in the center. So he's like floating down the street and he's trick or treating and he says, which way to the candy? Isn't it cute? <laughs> it just made me so happy when I made this card. I just love him. He's a little trick-or-treating ghost. Doesn't take much to amuse me, you guys, <laughs> clearly. Oh, um, I'm also, you know what? Since I had a little bit of gray ink on there, I'm just going to rough up my moon a little bit. Make it a little spooky around the edges. And then we're going to pop that. The circle is going to double as the moon. And also, I'm just going to hit one side and the other side with a little bit of Wink of Stella, or as I call it, Stink of Wella, so we can have just a little glitter accent on there. Now we have to pop it on the front of the card. Boom, boom. And we're going to use a lot of dimensionals, so don't freak out. <laughs> I'm going to cut two in half. I know some people, some people don't like to use as many dimensionals, but... Y'all, if you're visiting me, one thing you're going to see is Tasteful Textiles Embossing Folder and Dimensionals. You'll probably always see it. <laughs> That's two of my favorites. I think I'm pretty fast at pulling off the backings, but I don't know. I'm always too slow for somebody. So, <laughs> Okay, so we'll pop that on the front of the card. So cute, right? 
I love it. That little witch hat, like, it just, like, makes me want to clap my hands. He's so cute and sassy. Okay, now we can't... <laughs> well, we might have to make our card without embellishments because I can't find them. Here they are. We need two things. We can't have a spooky Halloween sky without adding a few stars. So these are the cute stars adhesive back sequins, and I love them. Okay, let me get all those dimensional backings out of the way. So I'm going to do a little assortment of stars. We'll use the iridescent star, the little orange one, and then a little black one. We'll just do a little trio of stars. And if you wanted to, you could always just put some Wink of Stella on his little cheeks. It doesn't show up well on video, but it makes it, it just makes that extra detail. Okay, so I'll put those in the envelope later. You guys don't need to watch me do that. And last but not least, we're gonna use this gingham ribbon. Guys, I love this gingham ribbon. You can actually color this with your Stampin' Blends too, so you can make it any color you want, but I love the black and white. We're gonna tie a bow. I kind of realized I might be off camera a little bit today. My camera is crooked again. Look at that. Oh, does it matter? It doesn't matter. You can still see what I'm doing, right? Um, <laughs> guess it's a little late in the video. Linda says I love how the stripes look over the row doesn't it though it's kind of cute i was trying to when i was putting this little scene together i was like when i started doing the fence in the tree i'm like oh, he's trick-or-treating but he needs to be grounded on something okay so we just need a little bow and i always hesitate sometimes i don't like putting freestanding bows on cards i'm going to use two stampin dimensionals just to make sure um, but I think it works on this. I think if I added more ribbon somewhere else, it might just be a little too busy. So I just put a little one on the side for a little pop of texture. And snip off the edges. Oh, oh, oh. Cut it. <laughs> so there's that. I might make that a little bit smaller, but it works for now. It's still cute, right? Thank you. Jean says, what a cute card. Thank you. I, th I think it's really, really fun. I had fun with this one. Let's do our inside because we can't have naked insides, guys. You always got to zhuzh up your card. I'm going to do, well, let's see what our sentiment choices are. I picked, oh, sorry. I think I moved my card. Hey, Pam and Amanda. Oh, okay. I picked Happy Halloween to you, but is there a better sentiment? We've got, you're so sweet, it's scary, less tricking, more treating, and frightfully cute. Do you guys want to use a different sentiment? Put it in the comments. I'll give you a second to weigh in. I always hesitate to put the DSP down before I stamp the sentiment, though. <laughs> so, so I'm going to stamp some bats. How about that? I'll put a couple bats in the background and we'll do one here. I'll make room for the sentiment. This less trick and more treatin' is so cute. I think it's just a fun little sentiment. So we have which way to the candy. You're so sweet, it's scary. Less trick and more treatin'. The bats are fun, right? The little witch would be kind of cute too. I love Halloween, you guys. I could embellish forever. So cute. Okay. Which way the candy? All right. Let's do less trick and more treatin'. I don't know why. Okay, we've got another vote for less trick and more treatin'. Perfect. That's the one I really wanted to use anyway. <laughs> So, <laughs> I thought, I mean, you, it's kind of assumed it's a Halloween card, right? I mean, it's not like you're giving this to someone for Easter. Um, so, so let's do less trick and more treatin' because I think it's cute. Oh, you know what? Let me, let me test this. I want to show you guys something cute, too, that I saw 
on Instagram today. So hold tight with me. So I'm going to show you a fun little, just a little technique. It doesn't have to do with this card, but it has to do with this set. Less tricking, more treating. Perfect. Do we need another bat? No, I don't know. No, no bat, no bat. Don't do it. This is how we, but this is where we smudge ink. Um, <laughs> when I start overthinking it, that's when things start getting smudged and... Okay. Perfect. Just a little strip of this on the side. Like I said, it keeps the party going from the front of the card so that we can, you know, you just want to make the insides fun and stamp your envelopes too. Um, I'm a little long here. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to use some stamp and seal to put this in the card. Hey, Kelly Frank. And but um bump. Hold on. Hold on. It's stuck too soon. There we go. So cute. That little hat just makes me like squeal. I think he's so fun. I want to share with you this cute little um technique I saw earlier today. Melody Hyde, who's one of the concept artists for Stampin' Up, shared this fun little way to use the um, the punch and the stamps. And I want to show this to you. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with this card. And I am going to show you some alternatives, so hold tight. But I was really excited and I wanted to share this with you because I think it's adorable. Um, so here's what she started out with. She started out by using a Stampin' Blend marker. And I'm doing it in the exact same colors that she did. And you can find her, her Instagram is Hammond and Penny, I believe is with the and sign in the middle. So go ahead and color your cardstock with, I'm using Dark Pool Party, and then I'm going back and forth just to even it out, make sure it's a nice even coverage. Bear with me. Hopefully you're gonna have a wow moment. I just thought this was so cool and I wanted to try it and I was like I'm gonna do this on Facebook live and show you guys too in case you haven't seen it because it's darling okay we're gonna punch the ghost out we don't need all the bits those can go away my I think I need to sharpen my punch my the my little ghost's head gets a little frayed but it's okay it's okay and then she took in the Cute, cutest Halloween. Um, there's a little polka dot here, and then there's also um, the little ghost outline image. And we are going to, I'm going to show you the cool thing she did with both of these, okay? So we're going to use, this is Coastal Cabana and the polka dot, okay? And she just simply put some polka dots on her little piece. You can pretend I'm doing it straight. I'm just doing it fast. Good thing I did another one that's a little better than this. <laughs> so here's the one I did that's better than that one. <laughs> Let's use that one. That was a bad attempt. Um, so cute, right? And then let's go ahead and I did the same thing. I colored another piece with granny apple green, um, punched it out. So same way I started that one. And then, I think this is so cute, you guys. Check this out. So we're going to use Granny Apple Green. I think I use Granny Apple Green Light, if it matters to you. I figured I'd just tell you. And here's the ghost outline, okay? So we're going to take the ghost, stamp him. Oops, I went too far. Oh, it's okay. Don't pretend I didn't do that. It's okay. We're going to flip him. And then we're just going to go through... and use the outline to kind of create little stripes. Pop one more right there. Guys, how stinking cute is that? And then what she did, she actually used this on a background um, on a card and she put, she mounted them on a circle 
it's kind of almost like a like a yin and yang look and how it comes together. So she popped these up on a circle. And if you think outside of the box, this is, you don't have to use this for Halloween. So it's just a fun way to use this stamp set to kind of create some more different images. I think she used like three of these on a card. She had the little skeleton face on it. It's super cute. I... I was going to make the card so I could show you the finished one that she did, but I ran out of time. But I don't know if you guys think it's as cool as I do, but I just thought it was just kind of a fun, like cool and different way to use the stamps just to kind of create some different textured backgrounds. And they don't necessarily have to be ghosts either. They can be something else. So if you see, yeah, Shirley says if you see the card, you'll get the total idea. But just use your imagination, guys. It just goes to show you that just because this is like a ghost outline, you can create some striped background images. Is. you know this is a great polka dot set stamp for any card that you're making I made a couple more of the green ones just to kind of try it out in different colors but anyway I think it's super cool I hope you guys do too if you're on Instagram check out Hammond and Penny and you can check out her finished card it's super super cute um okay one more thing before I go <laughs> I'll show you some more cards that I made with um with this Bun these bundles. So here are a couple more cards I've shared. I think I did one of these on a Facebook Live. I think this one maybe. But here's our other Hey Boo card and he's holding the little star which is kind of cute. And then this one I did for another tutorial um, and it just uses the punched out images and just again those cute little stars. And then this last one uses the um, spider web and I cut this out in the gold glimmer paper gold glitter paper and I shared this for I think it was for the paper players challenge one week and um so that's the spider web die that goes in here too but anyway that are just a couple more ideas to share with you with this and um so if you haven't started making your Halloween cards good time to pick this up you still have time and remember any orders that are over $35 in my online store and you can find the link in the description of the video. Use this host code and I'll send you the PDF that we talked about. If your order goes over 50, I'll send you two PDFs. So you have, um, the other one is just a great assortment. There's all kinds of, um, different ideas in there. And, um, there you have it. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun with our Witch Way to the Candy. And um, <laughs> I am happy I'm back today with you guys for Facebook Live. So um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email. Oh, looks like I got an angry face in my video. Okay, I don't know who's angry, but I'm sorry if I did something to anger you. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I did. Maybe I'll catch it in the comments later. Anyway, <laughs> I hope y'all have a great day, a great weekend, and I look forward to being back with you guys soon. Um, be sure, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel over on YouTube. I definitely want to put up more content, more shorter videos, so you can definitely check those out. Um, and I'd love to have you subscribe. It's taken me forever to get my channel up and running, but the um, event I did earlier this month just kind of forced my hand, and now it's there, and now I have to use it. <laughs> so, so I hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for the hearts. I love you guys so much. That makes me so happy. Um, and I will um, stay tuned. I'll be back with you soon. Oh, Dakota's saying goodbye too if you heard her squeaker. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Take care.